What's good, Hurrich fam? Hurrich credit tapping in. Let's get straight into it. So look, Hurrich fam, today we're going to be talking about another breakdown on some personal data points with a personal credit card approval. And this is not a business credit card approval. This is, hold on, let me cover the info. The GM rewards personal credit card. So I'm going to be breaking down data points, how to get approved for this. And the reason why I've been doing back to back to back breakdowns on these approvals is because this is what you guys want you guys have been hitting me up saying hey look why you don't show your personal data points per show us your credit cards and your personal data points so that's what i'm going to be doing for you guys and this is an old approval if i'm being honest six months ago i applied for this credit card and the reason why this is a personal credit card and not the business credit card because they do have a business credit card with the gm rewards is because I got denied six months ago and this time around I didn't apply for it. Okay, y'all. So I got denied six months ago and I pre-qualified. They didn't want to throw me no offer. So I went to the personal credit card. They threw me an offer and the offer was 6.9K on the personal side. Okay, y'all with 0% interest for 12 months. So I still got around six months on this card left. But yeah, this is a very good card that you can leverage. If you're trying to leverage on the personal side or the business side, you can go for either two. But what I want you guys to understand about this personal credit card is that, first of all, you can leverage it, obviously, because it has 0% interest for 12 months. But secondly, what you can do is you can get it without a hard pull to your credit report. And at the time, I didn't know that data point, okay, y'all? So I accepted this card and got that hard pull on my credit report. So you guys might be questioning, how can I get it without a hard pull, okay? So with this card, you can pre-qualify and they will throw you an offer. They'll show you your credit limit and APR before accepting the card and they will send you an email, okay, y'all? When you get that email, it will say continue. If you continue with the application, that's when they hard pull your credit report, okay, y'all? So what you wanna do is, before hitting continue, go through all three of your credit reports, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, freeze all three, then go back to that email and then accept the offer, okay, y'all? But with this personal credit card, recent data points, it will be pulling your TransUnion credit report, okay? But on the business side, they pull your Equifax credit report. So keep that in mind, okay, y'all? If you wanna go for the business credit card, they are gonna pull your, your Equifax report. If you wanna go for the personal credit card, it's gonna be a hard point on your TransUnion. But a lot of people only tell y'all, okay, just freeze your TransUnion credit report because that's where they pull from. Trust me, these institutions are smart. They will pull your other credit report and it will fuck up your credit stacking method when you try to, you know, stack on bureaus like Equifax and Experian. So yeah, y'all, let's get straight into the data points. The data points on my personal side when it came to getting this approval. At the time, I knew for sure on all three bureaus I had a 700 plus credit score, but they pulled my TransUnion credit report. So I had a 700 plus credit score for sure. I don't remember exactly what was the score. I know my utilization wasn't under 10%. It was around 12 to 13%, but I still got approved for a decent limit. 6.9K is not that bad. And no lates, obviously, no collections, uh, no recent accounts. No recent accounts in the last six months, no recent increase. So I only had about, at the time with TransUnion, probably like four inquiries on my report. But trust me, with this institution, and with institutions in general, as long as you don't have recent inquiries in the last three to six months, but even though you have more than 10, you can still get approved for higher than the credit cards. Trust me, y'all. But uh, yeah, that's probably like the simple data points. And obviously I didn't have a checking account. I don't know if you could open up a checking account with the GM Rewards. What, what even is the institution with the GM Rewards? Is it just called GM? I think it's GM Financial. I don't know if they offer you a checking account. So if they do, you might want to open open a checking account with them. But me personally, I didn't open nothing. You know, I just went strictly for the application. I don't know if they offer a checking account. GM Financial, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. But I know they're backed up by Goldman Sachs. Okay, y'all. So Goldman Sachs is known for pulling your TransUnion credit report. If I didn't say that data point already. But yeah, Herbert fam, that's basically all the little data points with this credit card approval. So if you guys want to go for, you know, the GM Rewards personal credit card, you can. I just gave y'all the data points. And also, too, you can mix it up with the GM Rewards business credit card as well. No hard point on both applications because they pull different bureaus. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video, Herridge fam. Y'all have a good day to Herridge way. Come on.